Okay, boys, as you can see today, we are playing Hitman. Actually, we are going to take turns. So whenever someone fails the mission, the other one has to try and do it until we finish our task. Oh, yet again, Trump with a great choice of a game. Yes, Hitman, I can't wait until we kill some people as an assassin. Obviously, Obama is intrigued. Just so you know, bro, I don't think you can use bombs over here, so pipe down, okay? Bombs or not, I'm ready. All right, let's start then. I don't like the cinematic shit, so we'll get straight into the gameplay. Also, Joe, you are going first. Um, okay, I don't mind it. All right, let's see Joe as a hitman. This shit is about to be a movie. The first hitman in the world with an IQ lower than a squirrel. Why did you compare his IQ with a squirrel? Because he always keeps my nuts in his mouth. Haha, -ha, so funny. Hold up, I just picked up something. Yeah, I ain't reading all of that, bro, so what do we have to do? You have it on your screen, idiot. We have to kill Carl Ingram and Carl Stuyvesant. Oh, yeah, I see it, and it's Marcus Stavenstief, not Carl whatever. Marcus what? Marcus Stavenstief. Oh, Yo, bro, what is wrong with you? Why are you killing this poor woman? That is not the objective. Ah, uh, shit, you're right. Sorry my brain malfunctioned trying to read that name. What are you going to do now? Uh, I don't know. Let me hide here. Maybe they forget that I did it or something. Not everybody has dementia like you, Joe. Oh, shit, yeah, you're right. At least he acknowledges. Maybe I can find a gun here, bro. I have a camera. What am I supposed to do with a camera? Start vlogging when somebody pulls out a pistol on me. Yeah, and post that vlog on YouTube with the title First Day as a Hitman. Forgot to take my pills and missed the target. I think that's a good idea. Shut up. Nobody's going to know that I killed her. I'm a professional. Yeah, Joe, you're completely... Ah, they are shooting help. Oh, you mother... Come here, you little prick. Who are you shooting at? I think he might be shooting at you. I'm not sure. Bro, an NPC is beating his ass. I know Obama. That's like friendly fire. NPC beating on another NPC. Done. Sit down, dumb bitch. Easiest fight of my life. I don't know what y'all were talking about. Let me search him for his pistol. I don't think he was the only... Yeah, there are more Biden. Run. Oh, great. Let me run. Actually, let's crawl. Why not? You're the worst hitman ever. I'm better off hiring a dog to assassinate somebody than to hire you. Obama, you are next. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Oh, look, we have a hoe. Hey, ho, how are you doing? My name is Mr. Obama, and I'm about to blow this shit down. You have 30 seconds to leave. Really, bro, what are you doing? Are you the bully assassin, or what is wrong with you? Nah, I just had to check her real quick. She was looking strange at me. Well, it ain't like you don't have a shiny, bald head with a barcode on it. No wonder she was looking like that. And what this crackhead tries to serve me here, is he trying to poison me? Bro tries to hitman the hitman. It ain't working like that, buddy. Obama has beef with anybody. Can you focus on the task and actually complete the mission? What are you even doing taking photos of everything? This is not a vacation idiot. Hold up, bro. I have to take a flick for the gram. I got to show Bush that I'm in Dubai. No, nah, this is next level of insanity. And y'all were calling me trash. Obama has that barcode on his head because he's the Walmart version of the hitman. Okay, 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 enough with the photos. Let's see where Carl Ingram and Marcus Stavinsaf is before I go insane and drop a bomb in the middle of this speech or whatever this is. I think you've already gone insane. Look at him going around not knowing what he's doing, Trump. I deserve a second try at this game. My eyes are hurting watching Obama play this. You don't deserve a second try either, Joe. I'm next. And let's just sit back and watch what Obama is doing without saying anything to him until he realizes how dumb he is. Yeah, boys, I'm over this. I don't know what to do anymore, but I realize something. We are Excuse in Dubai, me, and here they have plenty of oil. So as of right now, I demand all of it, or otherwise I'm blowing this shit down. Or actually, wow, explosion. That was cool. You're probably one of the weirdest people I know, Barrett. What the normal Obama behavior right here? Anyway, now it's finally my turn. Let me teach you guys how you should do it. Look, bro, you have there what you need to do. Present yourself at the security office. I saw that, Joe. Where do you think I was heading at? Unlike you guys, I'm actually trying to finish this mission. Not to bomb the place or kill innocent people. Can you shut up? I just tried to get some oil. That was it. Shh. Let me hear the dialogue. Yes, I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Bro doesn't know we actually know his real name. Ha. Huh. Codename Pinky. If I had that nickname, I would probably prefer to not go outside any more than to be called Sir, that way. So just to get it right, right now we are waiting for Marcus, the one who we should kill, to come here so we can escort him. And he doesn't know we are a hitman because we are disguised as a guard. Exactly. I know it's hard for you to understand things, so congratulations. You got it right. Okay. Let's look around in this room. Maybe we can find some useful things to steal. Yes, stealing. I want to do that. Oh, look, a key. Security key. What do we use it for? A key that grants access to security rooms. Wow. Thanks to that otherwise, I wouldn't have known. I say you shoot both of these people, go and take that tank that I've blown earlier, and place it in the middle of where that speech is. Then you pull out your gun. No, Obama, I'm not bombing this. Can you stop? Sorry, I just wanted to see some action. Can that guy Carl hurry up? Doesn't he know somebody's waiting for him to kill him? 
Like, hello. Exactly. Well, Doesn't I he know he has to be killed? Why is he so late, right? And why is this bitch talking to me so much? I might use Obama's plan if he doesn't get here now. Oh, just right in time. You can still use it. Look at how he's walking. He thinks he's the shit. Until the Amazon hitman hits him. Let's finish this guy. Shut up. Let me hear this. And arrogant little world. Trust you might not look like much. But he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Oh, so he's a bad person. Kill him right now. Boo! He has done bad to the world. Boo! Come on. I don't know what you took today, Obama, but never do it again, okay? I didn't take anything. I think so. Okay. That's what I used to say, too. Eventually, you'll get caught up, so it's better if you're open about it. You guys are trying to put me in trouble. Nah, I ain't going for that. Bro, look, it says there, give your orders to Stuyvesant. So this is Marcus, not Carl. He looks like a Stavelinson. Just call him Marcus, Joe. All right, here we go. Let's follow him to his balcony. I think we can actually get him out now. But I guess let's wait until we have the perfect moment. We don't want to draw attention upon us. Even though this is the Amazon, eBay, Walmart hitman, or however you want to call him, we're still doing it professional. So you're calling what I did unprofessional? There is nothing professional about that. You need to really slow it down with the words and think before saying something. Or otherwise, I'm calling Michelle to tell him that his husband is out of control today. Bro, I tried to understand what this guy is saying in the background, but I can't understand shit. Both of you are barking in my ears, and it irritates me. Oh, no, Biden, I'm so sorry. I'm actually so sorry that I almost care. Next time you're on a podium, you will not trip over a sandbag. I will make sure you trip over a grenade. And that's how you get another case. Bro, if I get all the threats you ever made in your life towards me, I think I might put you in jail for another 100 years. What do you mean by another 100 years? I've never been sentenced to serve jail time. All I served was this country, and I was the best at it. But when it comes to you, I don't even have to say a thing. You're not a president. You're a puppet getting told what to do. And it isn't like you're being controlled. It's just that otherwise, you wouldn't know what to do. That's very sad. Damn, bro. You didn't have to make me a poem about how much you love me. That's sweet of you. Can we focus on the game now before I get that grenade you said you want to throw at me and I stick it in your butt? I feel that this is getting out of control and that my plan would have worked great and would have saved us a lot of time. You know what? You're right. Congrats, Obama. You've won. What? What I've won? You won, bro. After this video, I'm leaving and I'm throwing my PC out of the window and maybe stick a fork in my ears. You've completely made me do this with your words. Wow, you managed to do that to Trump and not me? That's some next level shit right there. So what do we have to do? We need to throw these knives at those targets so we can pass this test for him to trust us. Oh, come on, you got this in the bag. Easy, if not, maybe you throw the knife at his head to finish this once and for all. What type of task is this? First try and I got it. And yeah, you're right, I could finish both of them right now. Nah, come on, we got this far when you could have done it right when he got out of the elevator. Let's not talk about my strategy, because, you know, but for now, let's stick with the storyline and find the best opportunity. One more left. These are too easy. Oh, I know they are when the game literally gives you aimbot on the target. Shut up. It's my skill, not aimbot. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. Magnificent performance and magnificent opportunity to end him. Come on, push him off the building. Wait a second, because we still have this stinky ass guard over here. What do we do with him? Uh... Oh, look, he's telling him to go home, wait until he leaves, and then we attack. I don't have time to waste. Hello? Yeah, I think I'm starting to agree with Obama's idea. Thank you, Joe. That doesn't mean we're cool. You're still dog shit at this game. Here you go. That's right. So I impressed you. How about impressing this foot in your ass? Yeah, go down, idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, have fun skydiving with no parachute. All right, now that this dude is done, let's move to Carl Ingram. But firstly, let's get out of this place without dragging too much attention. Without dragging too much attention? That's funny coming from you when for the past 10 minutes all I heard was to blow this shit down. Bro, you just got caught by a camera. Watch where you walk. And why do you still have a knife in your hand? Throw that away. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Now how do we get out of here before somebody realizes Marcus is missing? Oh, and I forgot, let's place the objective on Carl. How do I do that again? You go here then, Mission Stories, and click on the other one. Okay, let's see what this one is about. Hopefully we can get it done fast. We can. Because he's the last one I'd say that as soon as you got eyes on the target, you engage without hesitation. Even though we might create a mess and alert everybody, we at least finish our mission. Yeah, but it would be way cooler if we did it stealth, and I know, I know, ironic coming from me. You're right, hold up, I saw something here, a laptop. Maybe we can access it. Um, not really, but we have a screwdriver. Let me take it. Look, there is the objective. Who's that? Is that Carl Ingram? I don't know. Let's see, but first let me hide this screwdriver. I don't think it's a good idea to approach him with this in my hand. Hmm, he looks like that guy from the picture. What are they talking about? What? What are you looking at? Why are you all up in my face? Why am I all up in your face? 
please. Oh, okay, boys, we're killing this dude. Even if he's not the target, I don't care. Move away and listen to what he's talking about. invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. Oh, so he was invited by Omar Al-Ghazali, but I don't get who is he. Is he Carl Ingram or whatever name he said after that? Because in that picture, it shows him. Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. Look, bro, you have it there. Join the meeting with Carl Ingram. Right now, this dude is trying to join a meeting, and we have to join with him. So his name is Carl Ingram. Nah, he's the target. We got him. Kill him, Trump. I would, but I don't want to mess it all up when we are so far into the mission. Because then I would have to let one of you to try and do it all over again. So let's take it slowly and analyze. There it says, disguise yourself as Zanz the Vulture Kazim, bro. Why would we need that if we are already in a guard uniform and we have access everywhere? I don't know. I just took this drink and I think I'm going to slam it in his head. What is this information? Floor plan. I don't want to read this shit, boys. Let's take a decision. What do we do with this man? From my understanding, this is our target, Carl Ingram. So I'd say you end him right That's now, and it is what it time. is. Check one more time before just to make sure. A man of interest, and it's a photo with this guy. And if you go back to the mission stories and click on his picture. Ah, uh, shit, where was that? Oh, here, mission stories and his picture. Look, you have it there. Join the meeting with Carl Ingram. And he just wanted to join a meeting. You take the decision, Trump. I take the decision. Well, in this case, Mr. Whoever you is, say your goodbyes. If you're not Carl, I'm sorry, and it is what it is. I've had enough. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Why did you also kill the civilians? And look, it wasn't Carl Ingram. I've told you to not kill him. What do you mean? You were the first one who told me to do it. Now, look, they are shooting at me. That was it. Gigi's y'all are too dumb. Uh, shit. Don't blame it on me. You pulled the trigger. It ain't my fault. It's Obama's fault. Bro, who even said that shit would join the meeting with Carl Ingram? But it does make sense in a way. Nah, I think the game is stupid. How can you show a photo of someone and attach there the target name? Then expect from us to realize he's not actually the one who we should eliminate. It doesn't make any sense. We all said the same thing. Well, it is what it is, Trump. You can join that Marcus guy and enjoy a skydiving session with no parachute on. This mission is done. Maybe we can get out of here somehow. But I can't jump there. Um, and I can't jump there either. Then we have only one way out, and that is to fight them all. Go ahead and shoot them. Wow, look how well you are eating those bullets. The alarm is also set off. Yeah, that was it. Come on, Trump, I believe in you. Oh, damn. These boys are made out of Kevlar. What the? How did he not die after you put a whole magazine in him? I don't know, but that was it with this game for today. Our Agent 47 from Walmart, eBay, and Amazon didn't perform too well. I'm going to bed. Goodbye.